Hi, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, I just want to talk about how I would go about sizing the overcurrent device, protecting the primary of a high voltage transformer. So I'm talking here a transformer over 750 volts. So a high voltage transformer, you can see here I'm two or 2400 volts. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward, the process that we're going to follow here. Um, one little hiccup, and we'll talk about that. So here I've got a 50 kVA three-phase transformer. It's 2,400 volts down to 600 volts. Uh, so what I need to do, um, right, I'm only sizing that primary OC. There is no secondary overcurrent here, and we've determined that the feeder overcurrent is just too large. Um, or actually, it won't protect this transformer, and I don't have a secondary, so... What we do here is we take a look. Now what the code book tells us is if you're going to use a fuse, so it's different rules, but if I'm going to use a fuse, my fuse needs to be, uh, it can be based upon 150% of the current. If I'm going to use a breaker, it's based upon 300% percent of the rated current. So what I need to do here is I need to figure out what my rated current is. So I've got a 50 kVA transformer, it's a three phase and I'm 2400 volts. So I'm going to take my formula S equals E times I times root three, quickly transpose that. So I've got 50,000 VA divided by 2400 volts times root three. Now what this ends up giving me is this ends up giving me a primary current here of 12 amps. Awesome. So my fuse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 12 amps times 150 percent, which gives me 18 amps. Now there's a trick here. I want to make sure I double check the next sub rule where it says if 150% of the ampacity of the conductor is not, or sorry, ampacity required for the overcurrent is not available, the next higher size shall be permitted. What that means is when I look, I go to the store, I cannot find an 18 amp overcurrent anywhere. What it tells me is that when I go to table 13, I can actually go up to the next higher size, which means in this case, I would end up with a 20 amp fuse, right? So it's only where that 150% overcurrent device is not available. There's no 18 amp fuse available. I'm allowed to go up to the next highest size available. That's based on table 13. Now with a circuit breaker, uh, same rule we're dealing with, but it says that my circuit breaker shall be based upon 300% of the rated primary current, uh, and it says it shall not exceed. So in this case, we are going to take our 12 amps times 300%, which gives us 36 amps. Now in this case, it cannot exceed 300%. So that means when I go to table 13, I actually have to pick, if a 36 is not available, I have to go down to the next smaller size. So I end up with a 35 amp breaker. So that's kind of the trick with sizing a primary overcurrent on a transformer over 750 volts with a fuse. If that 150% is not available, I can go to the next higher size. With a circuit breaker, if that 300% is not available, I have to actually go down to a smaller size because I cannot exceed 300%. Uh, take a look in the description below for the rules that I'm referencing. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of my transformer calculation videos.